Hello my crafty friends, Laura Rumble here with a bit of a play session with the Sticker Kitten Succulent Collection. Um, I am on their design team so these were gifted to me. So add. Um, I am pulling out the big stamp from the Succulents stamp set and a little scrap of watercolour cardstock. <laughs> As you can see in my misty, I didn't notice that. Um, there's a dinosaur in there as well, but you know, we'll ignore that for this one. I'm conditioning the stamp just by rubbing my hand over it because it's the first time I've used this larger stamp from this set. I have powdered my paper and I'm using my anti-static powder. Uh, no, I've powdered my paper and I'm using my embossing pad to stamp the image. I do it a couple of times. My watercolour paper is fairly textured and in order to get a good impression I find stamping it maybe three or four times even is a good idea. Once the powder's on you can't go back and fix mistakes. So over stamping to begin with just with light pressure um, seems to be what works best for me. I've used some silver embossing powder from WOW um, and melted that and there we go. I love it. It's such a cool stamp. I have pulled out my Daniel Smith paints and I'm just going to play. Fling some paint at it and see what happens. Some of the sections I'm wetting first and then adding paint. Some of the sections I'm just painting straight. Some of them I'm putting paint down bringing in some water and pulling the paint out. I, I am literally just playing. some of the areas and giving them a second coat of paint just to give some depth and some colour variation and I absolutely love how it turned out. I've got a cream card base and a different stamp set. I could have used the greeting that was in the succulent stamp set but I felt like I needed a thank you card rather than a have a happy day I think the sentiment was. Um, so I have pulled out the space stamp set and I am using the thank you from there. Same technique, give a, a few stamps with the clear ink, silver embossing powder and melt that up. Following that, I decide that I need to add sequins. I'm, I'm back in that phase of sequins on everything <laughs> sequins more sequins all of the sequins um so i've pulled out some in various colors that sort of match and um i end up with just a few down the bottom I've, i felt having some towards the top of the card felt 
unnecessary. But um, a few down the bottom around the greeting worked for me. So pop them in place with a couple of dots of glue. And there's my card. I did pop it under my Misty and put my paint pot on top just to give it a bit of weight to flatten it out a bit as it had warped ever so slightly from the heat embossing. So there we go. Completed card. Thank you very much for watching. Um, like and subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!